Hi, this is Derek Tsai from LearnByBlogging.com. Today I will be doing a quick review or more of a uh, description of what I've been doing with the, uh, the new world of uh, IoT, uh, Internet of Things. Today I um, just put together a garage door remote opener of sort using a Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 0W which has the um, the the wi the Wi-Fi built in and um, using the uh, the system to control the garage door opening instead of using the garage door opener because uh, a lot of time when I go out for a walk I don't really want to carry a garage door opener and I don't want to carry a lot of key but I always have my uh, cell phone with me and through the cell phone, I can control the garage door opening, opener and open the garage door to let myself in. Of course, you can buy those new garage door opener or the new garage door opener has a new mobile app enabled. And I don't want to do that. I think I'm just going to use the, um, the Raspberry Pi to control it to uh, my cell phone. So today I want to show you how I do that and uh, could be an interesting project for you if you have an old uh, garage door opener you want to take advantage of a, a IoT device. So here it goes. You probably need Pi 0W. This is the new device with the uh, Wi-Fi wi built in and you I use one of those uh, standard case uh, you see that in my final on my garage door opener that I attached to and I added a camera here so that uh, I can monitor what's happening in the garage when it's open or closed or somebody have uh, automatically uh, uh, record the the video uh, when the garage door open that's a new feature I want to add uh, later, but I'm gonna I'm gonna build that in. So the camera here is about twenty something, and this is uh, ten dollars for the Raspberry Pi Zero, and case about six dollars. So you're talking about forty bucks of investment. Of course, you can buy potentially you can buy those uh, key entry type of uh, opener for about forty bucks at uh, Amazon, but that's not gonna be as fun as uh, Doing it yourself, and there's a lot of new feature you can add on top of the uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm turning this into a web server, and you can do a lot of things with it. I'll show that uh, sometime later on. I'm inside my uh, garage. I want to show you where I put, I place the garage door or my Raspberry Pi Zero uh, right underneath the uh, the opener. Here it is. So as you can see, I attach the Pi right underneath it. And what the Raspberry Pi did is no different than having the push button. Basically you are tapping the same wire as this garage door opener on the wall. And of course this wire goes into the, you actually go into the, um, the garage door opener through the wiring. As you can see the I place a camera inside the Raspberry Pi Zero. This allowed me to record the video when the garage door is opening or closing. Um, unfortunately you very hard to see uh, you did not detect whether the garage is open or not. So you I'm thinking about adding a uh, some kind of vibration sensor there so every time the garage door open it operating it would uh, wake up and, and record a video that's one of the things I'm working on so this Raspberry Pi server web server all we show is a simple description say automation and then has a HTML 
uh, button there and all I have to do is point in the uh, address to the right address uh, of, of this particular Raspberry Pi 0 and when I click this button it would turn off it will execute a Python command to uh, control the GPIO. It's a very simple idea. So let me show you how it worked. So I'm going to click on it. As you can see, the garage door is now closing. Right? And uh, let's run the script. Very simple. When I then I can. Uh, Click on that. And now, so it acts a close up of the connection of the Raspberry Pi to the uh, opener, garage door opener. As you can see, the black wire here is the ground, and the blue wire here is the GPIO data pin 14 or the pin 6 pin 8 is the GPIO 14 I'm using that to control this device and these same two wires actually go into that switch the wall to control the on off of the opener and it's basically doing parallel of that switch as the as the uh, as if you are turning on turning off the the switch and the way switch where you just close the circuit to ground shoulder to ground or open and the way you do that in GPIO is either you try state open or you uh, drive to zero that's to uh, send as shoulder to ground okay I'm gonna show you how I uh, log into the server the garage server and I have the IP address set up as, uh, as you can show here and make sure that you control the make sure you fix, change the IP address or make it into a static IP address or have it uh, your router recognize the MAC ID and uh, always assign the, the same address otherwise it's going to be very difficult for you to find out where it is or access the uh, the server so now I am logging into that little Raspberry Pi 0 and <clears throat> you can see that uh, I'm already logged in and my com my um, server is designed in such a way oh let me uh, show you And this is command line that's came from uh, learn from uh, at a food. First, you do is that uh, you import the GPIO. By the way, you can also do this through the regular command line. I decided to use Python because I'm more familiar with it. The way you wanted to do. You can ignore this part. This is the GPIO, and uh, this is the standard declaration that you need to do. This part you can ignore because I was going to do something with blinking. I don't need that anymore. I plan to have a LED set up, but uh, it's not well. It's not being used. And then you can. This is the uh, how I do it. You want to set the uh, GPIO to be the input first, and then. This is make the uh, GPIO into a try state when you put on input mode. And then you print out, this is just for me as debug to print out the state. Normally, the cur when it's input mode, you will input the state of the logic and is usually high because it's been pulled up high from within the garage door opener. And you will see a logic high here. And then I will sleep for just a quick wait uh, 100 millisecond there and then we'll set the garage output to zero and that will be driving the output 
to zero and that close basically grounding the output and just dump it out into zero and you make a very small short pause of half seconds half second and you pull it right back to one and go try state wait a second and go try state now this part is probably not necessary to drive it to one but uh, just what we want to be make sure just want to have sufficient rise time if your rise time is too slow it may not work I haven't tried we move these two lines but uh, it's just a good practice to do that and then you want to clean up the, the state okay so put the system put the wire into the try state again as an input now as far as making into a server this requires some kind of uh, JavaScript to use a button to control it and the way I did it is as you can see this is this is how you do it in terms of getting the uh, create a button and this I copy from somewhere from the internet that allow you to set to send a um, command line and execute a when the when you hit a button and execute this particular action.php okay action.php basically what it does is All it does is execute that toggle Python code. And when you did it again, it will open or close the switch and open or close the garage. Okay, it's just that simple. It's not a big deal, but you, eventually you want to add some password protection there and potentially you want to add more. Uh, Maybe a picture capture for a video recording and all that good stuff that you want to add because since I have a camera in there I just want to show you uh, where how I connect the wires the Raspberry Pi Zero I basically have this connect this ground to the ground of the garage door opener and I use this uh, GPIO 14 or pin 8 connected to the terminal the positive terminal of the GPIO just basically this just to these two wires I want to use this one because this one for some reason because they are using UART or serial terminal is more tolerant of the voltage and the voltage I have measured is about 3.7 volt when it's uh, a static and that could be a little bit high for 3.3 volt devices 3.3 volt on most of the GPIO signals and so using this uh, TX signal is more of a, uh, to make sure that it doesn't damage the IO pin 3.7 volt and I think the the strength drive strength is sufficient based on my measurement is the the short circuit current is about 10 milliamp so any of the IO can drive any of the output can drive 10 milliamps is not a problem, but uh, just don't want to make sure this amount to make sure they don't damage the IO pin. So there you have it. I show you how I uh, take advantage of the Raspberry Pi Zero to use it as a remote control as a web server that I can control the garage door through the Wi-Fi, and that can be done through my PC or through my cell phone. At the same time. If uh, you are remote somewhere, you can put the web server in the DMZ outside the firewall and you can practically can let people in or out. Of course, with the, you want to have a security password and all that stuff to make sure that uh, no stranger can access your garage door. That could be a security breach or issues. Anyway, I'll be doing more of this type of um, project as I'm kind of gaining interest 
this is uh, no different than I used to do when I was a kid and growing up learning about electronics. In my career, I've been doing a lot of the server design, very high speed designs, and all kinds of uh, things that are above and beyond normal uh, IoT. And it seems like coming back to me, come around uh, to do this type of project could be you know, fun and interesting and show you some of the, the know how I have in the past and teach you a few things along the way. Hopefully that was uh, interesting and productive and uh, fun for you to see. And I'll be doing, like I said, I'll be doing a lot of more projects like this and look forward to seeing you tune into this channel. All right, talk to you later. Bye now.